for our Alumni in Your Community segment where today we profile a BCC alum who has made his way to the top of the healthcare industry ladder, serving as president of a Massachusetts hospital. Hi, my name is Richard Robert, Bristol Community Class of 1972. I grew up in New Bedford, graduated from uh, Holy Family High School. I uh, had a great experience growing up in New Bedford. It was a great city to grow up in. I grew up in the South End. Always got a chance to go to the beaches. It was a nice place to live, you know, so it was a very good experience. As a young person, I was very interested in music. I did a lot of music when I was a young person. Um, had a lot of fun doing that. And um, once, a, once I graduated from high school, went on to college at BCC. I chose BCC because um, Coming out of New Bedford, and my parents um, didn't have, we didn't have a lot of opportunity to go away to school. BCC was a, a fantastic local alternative for me. It allowed me to think about what I wanted to do with my life, starting in a, in a college close to home where I could commute, and commuting was very important. So it was really the best opportunity at the time uh, for me as I grew up coming out of New Bedford. The atmosphere at BCC was uh, very supportive. The classes were really small. The buildings were separated. There were actually two buildings. You had to drive between both buildings. Sometimes finding a parking space was not always easy. Uh, but um, the, the students I went to school with were great. And the teachers were, at the time, the professors I had. One of the greatest things was they were very, very supportive, very encouraging. I think one of the fantastic experiences I had at BCC was they developed your independence. They developed your confidence. And that school allowed me to continue my confidence and continue myself in my education, so it's a great experience. After BCC, I uh, went to what is uh, UMass Dartmouth when I was there as SMU. I graduated in 1975 with a bachelor's degree, Bachelor of Science in Nursing. And then I uh, subsequently went on to, to uh, Boston University and received a master's degree, master of science degree there, and went to Suffolk and have an executive MBA. The interest in healthcare had a lot to do with the opportunities that existed in healthcare back in the early 70s. It still exists today. It's a great um, opportunity to, to uh, for me, for me to use my professional skills. It was a great opportunity to, to find the right kind of positions. There's lots of um, at the time when I was in school, you know, a lot of job security, which was important to somebody like me coming out of New Bedford. Um, and there's a lot of variability in the work. There's, a, there's all kinds of worlds you can travel down, so a lot of different roads. Once I graduated from SMU, I started as a staff nurse and actually in Fall River at the old Truesdale Hospital, and um, then went on to work at facility and programs in Boston, including Boston City Hospital. Went back to graduate school, um, finished graduate school, and um, went into the nursing administration world. Uh, did that at Morton Hospital in Taunton and then eventually came to South Shore Hospital 22 years ago where I've been now for 22 years, did various positions here in the executive world and um, I've been the president and chief executive officer of South Shore Hospital and the VNA in the hospitals of South Shore for the last seven years. The South Shore Hospital has been a fantastic place to spend my professional life. Um, the last seven years as president we've grown considerably from about a $250 million hospital today. To this year, we will deliver over $400 million worth of care. Uh, we are the like, third biggest emergency room in the state today, the third biggest maternity service in this part of Massachusetts today. Uh, we've added a lot of different programs, brand new cancer center, brand new surgical programs, brand new orthopedic service that will open up in about a year. Uh, it's been a very exciting experience. And one of the great things about working in healthcare, especially in Massachusetts is that there's always tremendous need and patients want to get their care locally and as we redesign programs we've continued to grow. We employ now about 3,800 people uh, so a lot of growth for South Shore Hospital over the last seven years. Been, you know, um, we've been able to serve more people than we ever could have imagined. It's been a great experience. I'm married. I, my wife and I met in high school. Uh, we've been married almost 35 years now. I don't know if you want to add that. I have two sons uh, who are both now out of college. One graduated from St. Michael's uh, in Vermont and the other one graduated from uh, Ro uh, Johnson & Wales in, in Rhode Island. And um, we live in Dedham and we've been in Dedham for a long time. Although we still come down to New Bedford because both of our parents still live in New Bedford, uh, in the North End. And so we, we're down in New Bedford a lot. 
And one of my sons actually, when he was in high school, uh, took a course at BCC during the summertime in computer sciences. That's his background nowadays out of school is, is computer and graphic arts. And um, so he had a great experience there too. I think like a lot of young people at the time, I was concerned about that was I able to go on into college and do a good job. I mean, a lot of my friends didn't go to college. Most of my friends, as a matter of fact, didn't go to college, which is not uncommon for in the time period I grew up in New Bedford. So even taking the college route was not that typical. So there was, I think, at a minimum, just a little concern about confidence. And what BCC provided was a very, an atmosphere that, it, that encouraged, you, encouraged you, believed in you, provided, the professors provided a level of confidence so that you could develop your, your own skills. Uh, your writing skills, your verbal skills, uh, your thinking skills. And that confidence, I think, is what led to my ability to go on to, to uh, SMU, UMass Dartmouth, and then obviously to graduate programs. So BCC was the starting point, but more than just a starting point, it was the, it was the building block that allowed me to get to where I am today. It's a very, it was a very important part of my life.